Hey guys, I'm uh, out in the shop today working on my Mark 1 a little bit. Uh, it's winter here in Canada, so not a whole lot of driving getting done. Just kind of picking out little things for next season. Um, and I recently bought a set of seat covers for these Recaros. They're out of uh, GLI or GTX in Canada. Um, basically just like a Mark 2 Recaro. Should be the same for the Velours or the uh, Helios ones, but basically doing my research for these, I couldn't find much. Well, ever since um, ever since Photo Bucket kind of got taken down and kind of hurt Vortex a lot, there's not a whole lot of good pictures or descriptions or any of that of how to take these apart. Um, I already did one of them, but I just decided I would make a, a detailed video of how these seats come apart because it might be useful to someone at some point. Uh, there's a lot of these out there, I know that. And I mean, if you can do it yourself and get covers like me, it saves you a lot of money. They're not going to be perfect, but they're good enough. They're a lot better than these dirty old original 20-some-year-old covers. Uh, so yeah, I'll, we'll get into this and I'll try to be as detailed as I can on how to take these apart. Uh, they're actually a lot simpler than you would expect. But yeah, we'll get started. All right, let's pray my camera doesn't fall. It might. It's propped up on an old saw. We'll see what happens. Um, so the first step in taking these apart uh, is basically I'm going to just take the base off. These are a power seat, but I depowered them. I chopped the bases and rewelded them. Because of my caddy uh, being so small and I'm 6'3", I had to kind of make some headroom. Uh, so my bases are going to look a little different, but they unbolt the same as any other base. and you'll be able to carry on from that point. Alright, so I don't know what the stock amount of bolts is, I can't really remember. But mine, I just have four Allen bolts holding the base to the rest of the seat. Uh, just gotta pop that off real quick. Alright, so these bolts on mine, they're a 6mm Allen key. Um, that might be what the stock bolt is, I'm not 100% sure, but extension for that one. So, that gets your base off and your little side panel thing where your switch normally is. I'll put that aside because I don't need it now. Well, I will, after a little bit. Alright, now your next step is to pull this diaphragm off the bottom. Uh, they're normally torn. I just realized, I thought I got this remade, I did it on the other seat, but I guess I only did the one seed. <laughs> but anyway, a lot of times these are torn and the easiest thing to do is get some old seat belts. There's metal rods here. Um, basically you cut strips of seat belts, fold them around, get them sewn. I had to get it done at a upholstery shop. It was like 20 bucks just because I don't have like an industrial sewing machine for seat belts. But, so that worked for me. Uh, just one second, I get some pliers here. So these might be kind of hard to get off, just because I've never had these ones off before, but no, no, it's not that bad. Basically, I think you can see on the bone, yeah. I'll show you a close up. These right here, these little clips that hold the diaphragm in, um, you just gotta kind of pull on them and pry them out. They can be a little stiff. If you can. Okay, cool. I 
looks like there's two little hog rings here holding it on also. Uh, my last ones didn't have that either, but I'm just going to cut those actually because they're kind of rusty and I won't be reusing them anyway. Come on, there you go. And that's your diaphragm. Uh, you just put that aside also. So this next step, I'm going to take the bottom of the seat over here and remove it from the rest of the seat. Um, just gives you access to all the cushions and everything to pull it apart. But to get these off, it's pretty simple. There's just these little pins here. But they're hard to see because they're supposed to blend in sometimes. But then you just push them through. Don't lose them though because you probably you probably want them still. So you push those through. Try to get them out the back if you can. Oh, that one's kind of stuck in there, but then just carefully, and I mean carefully, this stuff is old and brittle. And in there. <laughs> oh, come on, that one's jammed in, that's why it's not coming. There. Carefully pry it out. There's three little pegs, that's what those pins hold. They kind of separate it and make it make it tight. Um, and then there's a little lip around the outside, which I'm trying to pry. There we go. And this one, there's one more. I gotta, there we go. There. So see, these little pins here, those are what these go in. And they just uh, spread out and hold that cover on. So I'm going to find my other ones before I move on because I don't want to lose them. Uh, I forgot it has this, um, the adjuster wheel for your back and forth, whatever you call that motion. Uh, there's just a single Phillips screw in there. You just brass it off real quick. This just pops off. Well, you gotta get the screw out the whole way, apparently. Trying to be gentle with it, but holding a camera and one hand at work is not something I'm used to. There. All right, so these seats, I'll tell you right now, okay, focus, focus. All right, these seats have a tendency of uh, leaning back by themselves, like when you're just driving, they slowly kind of tilt backwards. That's because this, this, I don't know, I guess O-ring, you would call it, uh, they fall apart, as you can see. Um, if you replace that, it fixes the problem. A lot of people say the, the garden hose, little green, gaskets that you use for garden hoses apparently they will fix that problem and they're around the same size so that's probably what I'll try but we'll see all right so the next step to get the base off is uh, these little pins here or clips I guess you call them on pins <laughs> you just give them a little pull smash your knuckles into the table and then go and repeat on the other side and then come over here your fingers in the way of the camera, you just give it a little pull. Alright, so this step is pretty self explanatory. Um, just have to pull these out a little bit, they're kind of, they got some play in them, and you just gotta wiggle the, uh, oh, what helps is pulling your recline, then these just kind of wiggle right out. Kind of. And now you have two pieces of a seat. That's all you gotta do. All right, so I'll start with the base next, I guess, to pull it apart, but. Uh, not super important to do. It's just, I'm gonna take them off because it makes pulling the leather off easier. You could like rip it off, but. I'm gonna keep these covers even though I'm not using them. Uh, just kinda wanna have them for a backup in case I ever wanna make another set or something. One, go to the other side real quick. And that's all that is. Okay. This center cushion has these kind of plastic clips on them or something. They're part of the, they're sewed to it. And basically they clip in the front and they clip in the back. And that's just all that holds it on. It should kind of 
start unraveling by itself. Oh. Okay. See? There's one half. Um, basically, once you get that first one, you just take the cushion completely up. And the back half is the same thing, but now that the pressure's already off of it, it should just basically fall fall off like that. Oh, what is that attached to? Oh, it's glued. There is a little glue on some stuff, so... Oh no, that's not even glued, that's just stuck in there. Yeah. You just gotta lift the cushion straight up, apparently. Gently. Gently. Alright. And that is your bottom cushion for the side bolsters, which I'm a little worried because normally they are destroyed. This is a passenger seat, so they're not terrible, but I feel like there's going to be a rip in that foam. I'll have to fix it. Um, you can order them new still. I ordered uh, new ones for the other seat, which worked out great, but... They were $200 from Europe, and I'd rather not buy another set if I don't have to. But, uh, yeah. So, for these, I'll see if we can get a, a visual on it. So this little hump right here, uh, right there, there's a piece of wire, which you can kind of see there. That wire runs through this cover, and it just clips into there, and it's just held in by its pressure. Um, so see, you can just kind of pop it out. That was my GoPro turning off. Um, and then you just kind of continue that the whole way that you can find them. That, that pulls it free. Some of them are tricky, but not terrible. It's kind of a nice system. It's actually pretty easy to use, right? And that's your foam. Uh, you flip it over to the back side. And you can see it a little better here how it works, but it's basically just the metal rod. Okay, here. The metal rod runs through the cover and then gets locked in those brackets. Uh, some of them might be bent down. The bottom ones sometimes can be. Just gotta twist them up a little to get them free. Uh, just don't snap them off. So then. Okay, I'm not good at filming and working. Okay. So that. Let's see, like this one here is bent. So give it a little pry. To get it open. Don't break it off. Learn to film with your bad hand. Oh, you stab yourself in the arteries. See? Great great idea. Just pull out your fingers because you gave up on screwdrivers. Then on to the next one. Pry it up a little bit. Pull it out. Try to pull it out, fail miserably. Try it again, there. Still not doing a good job at it, but we're working on it, there we go. So, these seem to be glued in. The other seat they weren't, because it was kind of more beat up. Oh, it's like double side taped actually or something, but. Not super important. <clears throat> All right, so that's it for that. Oh, okay. Now, just gotta pull the cover off of the foam over this post. That's why I took those little plastic pieces off. And. <clears throat> All right, this comes off. front is also kind of stuck on there. It's been on there for a long time. Hope there's no animals in here because that would be gross. And that reveals your foam. Um, <clears throat> so, as you can see, it's a little worse for wear. Not the worst thing in the world though. I do have a spare from the other seat that was still good because it was on the your right side which is when you're getting in the left of the vehicle. That gets crushed. There's a passenger seat, so this one gets crushed. But the other one will be better than this one. Um, and to pull these off, I think all it is is you just kind of give her a little pull. Don't tear your expensive 
on your replaceable foam. Well, it's, it's replaceable, but for a cost. And that's it. There's all the the extra foam that doesn't stay on it. <laughs> yeah, that's all it is for that. And on to the next one. All right, so now we're on to the uh, the upper or the back of the seat. Uh, to start pulling this thing apart, what you gotta do is if you look in here, which is gonna be very challenging with a camera. I don't know if you can really see. Here, I'll try to get a light. Basically, there's those little uh, those wires in there. I'm just gonna poke them off with a screwdriver. Uh, I'll get this off and then I'll uh, show you what they look like. All right, so I got those out. As you can see, it's just that little rod with the little clips that go into those metal hooks. Um, so this backrest, before you tear it off, uh, there is a couple, I think it's just one actually, a little hog ring in there holding the foam to the back of the seat. I would say it's just so it doesn't kind of like flop around and be sloppy. Um, so I'm going to snip that with pliers just because I can't really get in to pry it. Uh, my other one I could because there was two of them, like a chain link, but it was because it was messed with before. Um, so yeah, I'll do that now. Okay, so there it is there. Try to cut it. Hope that you get through. There. Oh, there's three. Nice. I didn't know that. You learn something every day. <laughs> there's two, and then there's three, one. Facing me. I don't know if you'll be able to see with this lighting. Yeah. Alright, so now that those are out, I'm going to just lift this cushion off. And I'll probably pull these out so I don't stab myself later. Ow like I already am doing. Now that we have this back backrest uh, opened up like this, the next step is, it's kind of got another weird plasticky thing. Oh, man, I can't explain this. It's got a plastic clip type track system um, and it hooks into the back, the back cover. So you just gotta pry it out. All right, so I just noticed there's some staples just in the bottom here. Okay, I'm just gonna grab it if I can. There. Pull the staple out. Eh. There we go, finally. Okay, now you can see it. All right, so. That just clips into that plastic. That's all it is that holds it on. And when it's wrapped around, it keeps it tight. And holds, there goes the light. Holds this, there goes everything else. Cushion to the rest of the seat. There, finally, stupid thing. Oh, there's some foam off the bottom, off the, the bolster. Make a mess. Okay, so that's the back cushion. Uh, I'll put it with the rest of it. All right, so now that we have the center cushion out of the seat, uh, it's the same style as it was before, as the bottom. We just pry all these little tabs, or well, pry all the little wire out of the tabs. Should be five spots where they're in there. And then that releases that. Go to the other side, do the same thing. Nice and simple. They're all coming loose. All right, so. Now, you can kind of pull this over. This goes the whole way around the back of the seat, so it's all one piece. Oh, look, my bolster's okay. There's no rips. Nice. All right. So, you can get up to here, and then you're kind of stuck. So, we'll get to that in a minute. But anyway, this one is probably still clipped on that plastic. So, what they do really is they flip into each other, and that's what holds... Ow, that's got staples in it. Shred it, my fingy. Uh, yeah, so basically... This wraps around and flip, flips. Oh, my stupid GoPro keeps turning the screen off. I'm like, oh, did it stop recording? This little thing here goes in the other track and flips. Like, it clips in. <laughs> I can't explain it, but if you see it in person, you'll understand. 
All right, so the nose are off. Now, the next step is getting the headrest off. The headrest, um, yeah, okay, this is how the headrest comes off. I remember doing it, but. So, there's more, there's four more of these clips. They were the same spot as the this top of the cushion. Same, they go the same place. All right, so now, what you can see here is pins. And what these do, Keep your headrest on. So now that those are out, the headrest comes almost there, off. And I guess I can show you how to take that apart too. It also is that stupid track. Oh, okay, that track system. Things are just going everywhere here. All right. So now pull the uh, pull the back off the seat. Save your pins. I never even took the foam off the other seat I did because I didn't feel the need to. Oh, just remember there's one more piece over here. Just this little thing here. Uh, should just pull, pull out. Pry, but be careful. Okay, I pried it out. Don't scratch it up like I did. I'll have to fix that. You can still buy them too, actually, but you don't see it enough. Anyway. All right. Cover it. That just kind of holds the cover on. Great footage, by the way. All right, and then that's that. Save your covers because there's things in them that you will need, like the headrest, little plastic thingies. And you will need this metal wire and you will need to cut the holes in the same spot. So they're kind of good to use as a template. So we'll throw that up there. And that's it for the seat itself. Um, just this down. Still don't know where that, uh... oh, no, that's not it. There it is. Thought I lost that little pin. That was back from the start, if you're still watching. All right, now the headrest. As you can see, a lot of dirt comes out of these old things. Basically, this is the same as the bottom of that other seat. You just gotta pry the plastic apart. It's more of a pain putting these back together, trust me. But uh, actually that one's not too bad to get the first. She is nice and ductile this, because it's old. And then you just pull it off, as you would expect. Also, is uh, if you put if you get a clothes steamer and you steam the foam, it'll help it kind of release because you can see like these ridges and everything, and they're kind of just like from being compressed for so long, they just are permanent. But if you steam that, it'll kind of swell back out to its original shape when it was manufactured, uh, which makes the new covers fit a lot better. But uh, yeah, so that's how you take apart a Recaro LSB or a a trophy or a velour, all those kind of Volkswagen cars. Uh, yeah, so now I don't have a usable seat. Um, stay tuned for the next time.